episode of Fab Science. Basically this show will show you how to become a maniac in your own home. In today's episode we are going to make a flamethrower out of just normal household items you may find around your kitchen. Okay, first of all you need a piece of wood, especially if it's well designed, like this one I got from an old bed that I didn't need. Grab yourself a piece of wood and just a flammable canister. Um, you can look at the sign there it says flammable. If it's got flammable it'll work. Then all you need to do is just grab some sticky tape. That's all the items we need. Wood, canister and a sticky tape. What you do is just take off the lid of the impulse thing, grab a piece of sticky tape, a long bit will do, and make sure the head of the canister is pointing away from you. You don't want to burn your face. And you just tape it onto this like that. That's basically it really. You need to put more tape and you hold it like that, obviously with the nozzle pointing out. Here's one I prepared earlier. It's basically very well stuck onto the bowl, it's not going to fall down on you. One thing you've got to remember, make sure you get a new canister because once the pressure from the can starts getting lower and lower, the flame is going to get closer and closer to the nozzle and when that happens, you don't want to be around. Boom! Let's go test it out and I'll show you how to start it up. Okay, basically grab yourself another strip of sticky tape and tape the nozzle with the button pressed down. Make sure you have some matches around because you have to be quick. As it's going off, light it. And you now have a very well, try again, a very good flamethrower. This one's running out, but as you can see, it's not lighting. See you next time, or we'll show you how to get into a best friend's house with a fake key. Try again. You've been watching. Don't miss out. Tune in next time. Fab Science. Fab Science. Fab Science.